already three times hundreds of students, intellectuals, activists and movements came together and discussed not only the things they were critical of or the existing obstacles, but also how these obstacles can be overcome and what alternatives these criticisms give rise to. The past three conferences not only brought together leading intellectuals, but also gave young activists, students and scholars a chance to present their ideas. In this fourth conference, we want to once again build bridges between different communities and movements in Kurdistan and worldwide. But also, we want to remember those who played a big role in the last conferences, but cannot be here with us again. Meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren, liebe Kommilitoninnen, Kommilitonen. Zunächst ganz vielen Dank für die Einladung zu dieser spannenden Konferenz. In fact, the revolution in Rojava has now lasted longer than the Spanish Revolution. It's managed to maintain itself. <laughs> Der zweite Punkt ist um, Foucaults Verständnis von einer Analytik der Macht. We're in a systemic crisis of the capitalist world system, such that it's uh, falling apart. Emma Alfater was a political scientist who, from the late 1960s until his death on the 1st of May 2018, worked in Germany and many countries both in Europe and other parts of the world, as a university professor and as a concerned political intellectual, contributing an extensive range of lectures, research, writings and public interventions. Trained in the writings of a critical political economy, his main interest was directed to developing a fruitful analysis of our future threatening economic system. David Graeber was an American anthropologist and anarchist activist. His influential work in economic anthropology, particularly his books Debt, Bullshit Jobs and The Dawn of Everything, and his leading role in the Occupy movement, earned him recognition as one of the foremost anthropologists and left-wing thinkers of his time. David Graeber died unexpectedly in Venice on 2nd September 2020. Silke Helfrich studied adult education and Romanic languages as well as social sciences with a focus on economics. She was a freelance author, researcher and frequent speaker, co-founder of the Commons Institute and the Commons Strategies Group and co-initiator of the Network for Economic Change. On 10th November 2021, she lost her life in a hiking accident. Michael Panzer, Baganujian or Khalil Vian, was born and raised in Potsdam. He left university to see his entire life as a study. In 2012, he became interested in the Kurdish liberation movement and especially the writings of Abdullah Öcalan. He traveled to all four parts of Kurdistan, but always returned to Europe to share what he had seen and experienced. In 2017, he decided to take another step and join the guerrillas in the mountains of Kurdistan to help build democratic confederalism. In defense of the revolutionary gains of the Kurdish freedom movement against the murderous repression, military attacks of the Turkish regime and against the terror of the Islamic State, he fell as a revolutionary on December 14, 2018. Immanuel Wallerstein was the founder of the world system theory. He was among the pioneers of extending sociological theorizing and research to the world as a unit of the analysis. With Wallerstein's world system analysis, he recognized the tendency of an expansion of the capitalist system to a global economic system already during the Cold War. He influenced numerous political movements and theoretical thinkers with his holistic approach to the world system, in which he analyzed the scientific subfields of history, economics, political science and sociology together. Wallerstein's world system theory also had a major influence on the economic historical analysis of Abdullah Öcalan. At the age of 88, Immanuel Wallerstein died on the 31st of August in 2019.
We have lost some great thinkers and comrades. Let us keep them in our hearts and carry on their thoughts and ideas.